Okay, so just a really quick one on dye samples. So for dye, what you need is you usually need to boil the kettle, okay? So obviously be aware because this is going to be hot. You need water in there. So this is if you're dyeing the whole thing, um, as in the whole piece of fabric, kind of like this sort of thing. So that whole fabric there is all dyed in one colour. Now, if you are dyeing a bit of fabric you need to decide how much dye you want in obviously the more you put the more dye you put in the brighter or darker the dye is going to be so we have packets like this and then as soon as they touch the water they should um be able to see the dye going round and you just use one of these spoons to mix it up obviously hands etc don't put anywhere near it um, so I don't want any of you getting burnt. Dye when you're using this will come out really easily when you wash it if you don't add a little bit of salt in. The salt is there for fixing it. If you put just a bit of salt in, that fixes the dye. Okay. So that's the first bit. Now you can try different dyes in different colours. You can try sort of mixing different dyes but please be careful with it as dye is quite expensive so say for example i wanted to do a few different samples what i can do with this is i can put in one of them um, and then maybe have a couple more different samples i might leave that one in there for literally a couple of hours to a day I might leave that second one in there for two days and that one for three days and it's going to come out differently because of the amount of time it's spent in there so you can experiment with things like that the other thing I sometimes do is if I've got a piece that's been dyed I might then decide I want the dye to travel up and make sort of different marks on here so one of the things you could do for that is you could end up dyeing a whole piece then just dipping the end of it and it will travel up the fabric and it will make sort of like wave kind of marks with it as well um, and I'll show you an example of that when I leave some in here as well um, different types of fabric will also take to the dye differently so the pieces that I've already put in there are poly cotton but this piece here is calico and they are all going to respond differently to the dye so I'll show you how they come out next week probably okay so you've got soft like that so that's one option you could blend different bits together if you wanted to let me move that to the side now the other thing I sometimes do is I look at using sort of a sprinkle method of the dye um, which can create quite interesting backgrounds now not all colours do this and I'd be wanting you to then do something else with it as well so if you're doing something here like poly cotton I'd then want you to end up adding say some freeform embroidery over it or that kind of thing so one of the things that I quite often do is using a bit of water paintbrush is just cold water just painting on in sections until this is all wet and then some of the dye um, is made up of elements of different colours so it will then disperse when you, it touches there so that sort of thing you will see that that will then disperse um, and look quite interesting not all colors will do it so you can try it but I can't guarantee that they're all going to do something with it so this one's obviously made up of lots of different um, sections and pigments of dye so I don't think the ocean blue works quite so well more of a purpley color but it does still make a bit of an impact so if you were looking for say like a background on say a final piece or say on your corset or something like that you could do something like this and then add bits over the top um, so you've got stuff like that you can experiment with blending different dyes together um, 
that kind of thing. Dyes are expensive. Dyes are not to be just fiddled with and used and all of that. You can use a small amount, but not loads. We also have some in these little pots like this. Uh, and for these ones, what you do is you literally just take those off and just use a pinch to sprinkle. You can use these in here as well, um, using the same method, but again, small amount. You don't need loads and loads of dye in something like a bowl of water. You don't need that much. It's more about how long it stays in the water as to how dark it will get. Does that make sense? Yeah. 